five, time for Sunday brunch. Joining us this morning is Chef Frank Morales from Spanglish Mexican Kitchen. Good morning to you, Chef. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's going great. So what are we making today? Get us started. Today we're going to be making gorditas and sopas. Yeah. So I the, love, <clears throat> both so of the, them sound amazing. <laughs> So the first step, we have uh, some masa right here, ready to go. All right, what is, what is masa for those who don't know? It's just grounded up corn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna add potatoes, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes already. Oh, those are mashed potatoes right there? Yeah. Oh, All right. nice. That's what's gonna give the masa a little bit more strength. All right. Then we're gonna add maseca. What's maseca? Which is instant corn. Instant corn? Instant corn masa flour. Oh, okay. All right. So it's super finely ground though? Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then next we have all purpose flour. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have uh, some baking powder. Okay. And then water. I call that floof powder, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> chef, who is our sous chef helping us out today? This is my guy here. We've been working together for over 20 years. Wow. Awesome. He's the most stable relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> so, sounds, sounds like it. Uh, yes. you, pr you probably don't even have to say any words after no, this point. No, we just, just look gotta, at each yeah. other and we know what we want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Telepathy is a strong suit to yes. have. And <laughs> we started working okay. together when I was in my early 20s. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, I just turned 46, so it's we've been together for a minute. Wow. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on making it this far. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so after we, after we mix it all up, we're gonna go over to this section already because we've already had it rusted. Okay. Right. And then what you want to do here is oh, you want to so make like a golf size. Golf ball size? Exactly. Okay. I'm some this out of sight. All right. So he's gonna get the masa. Okay. Roll it up. Roll it up. Kind of like a, a golf size. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is the trick right here. Yeah. We don't right. want to press too hard because right. then we don't want to make tortillas. Right. right. Put it in here. So it looks like you're using this kind of as pocket bread then. Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. And then from here, he's going to grab one that's already made. All right. And this is a little bit tricky. This is the gordita. <clears throat> he's going to open it all up. Okay. We're gonna dump, we're gonna dump it in the deep fryer here. This is a sope, so they're basically made the same. Oh, okay. But the okay. sope is just done a little bit different. Sure. He pinches it on the side. Okay. To keep everything inside. Gotcha. So what are we filling them with? Today we did them with steak. Mmm. <laughs> Now, are you able to, are you able to, like, did you bake those before you fried them up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you could, you could have them just baked then, right? Yes. Okay. So, Chef, tell us about some of the specials you've got going on for Cinco de Mayo this week. So, we're at Urban Space. Our menu is going to consist of tacos, burritos, but mostly we're known for this. Mm. How long have you been around? Tell me about Spanglish. So we've been around, my family's been in the loop selling food for about, since the mid-90s. All right. I went out on my own in 2000, mm -hmm. and we've been at 45 North Wells, 209 West um, Lake Street, and our newest restaurant is at 15 West Washington inside the Urban Space Food Hall. Yeah. Fabulous. And you also have a, a special candle you want to tell us about too, yes, right? Yes, this is, uh, so during the pandemic, Dave Portnoy uh, started up the Barstool Fund. Right. He raised upwards of $40 million. Wow. And uh, is that this is a little tribute to there? him. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, Saint Dave Portnoy, <laughs> savior of restaurants. The pa patron saint of restaurants. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I, I saw I saw Dave's video of when he was doing his pizza testing here in Chicago and uh -huh. what happened in the background. We're gonna have to get him to uh, Urban Space <laughs> so you can come check it out next oh, time he's in Chicago. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we put the steak in. What else did we top off with? So we put um, lettuce, tomato, cheese, mm -hmm. and sour cream. Wow. Mm. That and, looks. Uh, that's it. I mean, absolutely it's, amazing. It's not really that difficult to make once you have all the ingredients. Right. 
Um, my, my problem, Chef, is that I went to get masa one time and it only came in a five pound bag and I was not going to be <laughs> making five pounds of masa anything. You know what? We usually get it in Pilsen at this uh, tort uh, this local place called El Popo. Yeah. Mm. So you could get there one pound, two pound, uh, as many pounds as you right. want. Or you can leave it to the professionals. Or I could just or go. You could just come to 15 I'll go to Spanglish West. instead. Or you could just come to Urban Space. <laughs> Love it. Thank you guys so much for coming in this morning. Spanglish Mexican Kitchen is located in the loop at Urban Space Food Hall. Find more online at urbanspaceshy.com. Also, you can check out uh, Spanglish Mexican Kitchen on Instagram. Thanks again. Frank, thank you so much. Thank you, guys.